My next guest is a dad who put something on his Christmas list that made me take notice. It was a date for his daughter. Take a look. Hi, Steve. I need your help to find my beautiful daughter, Lauren, a date for the holidays. She's an amazing, successful, smart, and charming woman, but she just can't seem to find a man to share her wonderful life with. I know that you and I, together, can find her a kind, trustworthy, caring man that would be worthy of her, and that this holiday season will be one to remember. Hey, folks, this is what I'm calling Find My Daughter a Holiday. Uh, please welcome Barry and his daughter, Lauren. Yeah. All right, Barry, let's, let's me and you talk. Where do you think Lauren goes wrong when it comes to dating? Well, I think the biggest problem is that she looks for men in the wrong places. Uh, I think she's looking on uh, clubs and Saturday night bars, and I'm thinking that maybe she should be focusing in church. <laughs> Lauren? Yes? Do you agree with what your father's saying? Yes. I'm not out looking like in bars or clubs, but that's where I tend to bump into people or meet people, so... But I'll be in Publix or in the grocery store and I'll ram my card into somebody if I see a cute guy walking down the aisle, so I'm not shy. Okay, you have to stop doing that. Okay. <laughs> okay. okay, so where do you think you're going wrong? What do you think the mistake is? I'm a magnet for unavailable men. I meet men that they have a girlfriend, they have someone at home, they're married. Um, I'm always the last one to find out when this, thing's, when this happens, but... Um... I usually Google them ahead of time to give us some insight. <laughs> oh, you, you get in on this? <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. As soon as I get word that there's one sniffing around. <laughs> that's right, that's what I'm talking about, yeah. Yeah, this is my kind of dad right here. Yeah, that's what we do. So, let me ask you this part. What, what are some of the qualities you're looking for in a guy? Breathing, have a job. Um, you know, just someone who's loyal. Um, not to sound weird or crazy, but someone like my dad. He's taught me, you know, chival chivalry still alive. Um, someone that's gonna provide and take care of me, make me safe. Um, honesty, just the basics. Okay, now. The words that come out your mouth are very important because that's what's going to come back to you. You said, I'm looking for a man who's breathing, has a job, who's loyal, who has chivalry, who provides, and who's honest. Yeah. You're not looking for a man who's available. You're not looking for a man who's looking for you. You're not looking for a man who wants the same things you want. I don't expect the perfect man, but I want someone that's perfect for me. No, but listen to me. Okay. What do you look for in a man? He's breathing and has a job. Most dirtbag dudes can breathe and work. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of no good men are loyal. Loyal to what? You want somebody who would be loyal to you. You want a man who would put you on a pedestal. You want a man to treat you like a queen. See, that's what you want. So we, all we gotta do is change that. Okay. Because look, you're a really nice looking lady, you have style and class, and your dad is sick of this. <laughs> <laughs> Anytime you see a father sitting in the video, he up to here with it. I'm calling Steve. <laughs> so Barry, let me ask you a question. What qualities would you like to see in a mate for Lauren? I'd like to see somebody who, who is available, who uh, has uh, a job and they're trying to do the right thing. I also think that they should go to church or they should try to go to church. When he says that, what are you thinking? I think he's 100% correct. See, every man has to have a guideline, a map to something. And your spiritual life holds you to a set of principles. You have a man that don't have a strong set of moral principles, that's probably why he's talking to you and he's unavailable, because he's mistreating this other woman so he can come over here and mistreat you. And we, you know, we threw with that. Yeah. 
Yes. You, you follow what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yes. Well, I'm gonna really help you today. Okay, I'm ready. I got some fellas here who I think Lauren's dad will approve of. Bachelors, introduce yourselves. Gordon, I live in New York City, 50 years old. I am a management consultant, and I am single with no kids. <laughs> I'm Wayne, I'm uh, 50 years old. I'm a consultant for the aerospace industry. Uh, I live in Miami, Florida. Hey everyone, my name is Darren. I'm 36 years old. I live in Tampa, Florida, and never been married. I have no children. So, Barry, I'm gonna let you ask the first question, fire away. So, one of the things that's important to me is a relationship that uh, my daughter and I have as father and daughter, and I wanna know what the relationship is between you and your mom and dad, uh, and I'll start with Wayne. I have a really good relationship with my, my family. My father actually passed away just four years ago, uh, so my mom uh, lives in Jacksonville now, so we keep in communication all the time. A pretty tight family, so they're very important to me. Very important to me. So, uh, Darren, when you think about your relationship uh, with your parents, what's the most important thing that you have uh, derived from that relationship? It has to be my mother. She's the, she inspires me to be better, stronger, more educated every single day. Gordon, because you're 50 years old, do you see yourself in your particular profession or line of work going forward into the future? No, it's time for a change. In consulting, you travel all the time, and I'm just sick of it. Sick of being on the road, you know, last minute travel, so it's time for something new. What do you envision that being? This somebody daddy right here. <laughs> daddy, yeah. <laughs> See, a woman would go, oh, he's looking for change. Daddy, yeah, you want to change. change okay, life. well, you're going to change into what? <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually looking at some operations jobs where I'm not going to be on the road all the time, settling down at one client, you're running a division, but just less travel is the main thing. <laughs> okay, Lauren, let's go. Uh, I'd like to ask Wayne, um, what in life do you feel you're most uh, grateful for? My kids. I have three kids, and uh, they've grown up with me. I, was, I had the uh, luxury of actually raising them myself, uh, and they're my most prized possession, absolutely. How old are your kids? 22 and 18. Yeah, see. That's good. See, right there. See, that's good information. 22, 18. Ain't no child support. <laughs> no. Ain't no baby mama drama, <laughs> you know. Still got those credit cards out there that you know. Yeah, that's right, Barry. Yeah, that's, right. <laughs> that's right, Barry. Just keep raining on the parade. Hey. <laughs> Barry, that's my dude over there. <laughs> that's my guy. Go ahead, Lauren. Um, Darren, are you spiritual? Barry. Is it necessary that your uh, partner shares the same belief system as you? My partner, I would like for her to, to please believe in least God and Jesus. I'm not the person that goes around and says, oh, you should believe in God, you should do this. No, I'm not so strong like that, but I, yes, I would like to have my, for her to believe in Jesus and God, because I do. What do you think about that question, Wayne? I, I'm a Christian. I, I go to church every Sunday. Oh, most every Sunday, I do my best. But uh, I, think, I think that's part of the core values that uh, resonates with me, and, and I'd want to uphold that in my relationship. But what about you, Gordon? I gotta be honest, I'm just not that religious. I'm not that spiritual. It's just not me. I tend to think more mechanically. I don't go to church, probably should, but yeah. sorry. Yeah, your ass ain't gonna make it. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you gonna lie to you? <laughs> so, Gordon, get so Gordon yeah. what trait do you wish you had that God. you don't seem to have? <laughs> oh, <listen. laughs> he wish he had a church home right now. <laughs> I oh. wish I was more spiritual. How's that? <laughs> good answer. That's a good answer. Go ahead. One more question. I want to know what quality do you find the most attractive in a woman? Were, were Gordon? For, no, just, just <laughs> Wayne and Darren. Who are you asking? That's okay, Gordon. Just, just Wayne and Darren. Sorry, you Gordon. Go ahead and set this out. Go, go ahead, Wayne. <laughs> All right, go ahead, Wayne. Beyond the... The physical part, of course, you know, men were very visual, of course. I, I like, uh, you yeah, gotta be attractive. But what I like, of course, is gonna be her personality. What about you, Darren? Well, I have to agree with Wayne on personality. 
but it's where our heart is. You have to have the right, the right heart. I mean, you guys have to be compatible. Well, Barry, who do you think Lauren ought to pick? The guy in the blue shirt over there in the second row. <laughs> What do you think, Barry? Uh, Wayne. You like Wayne? Yes. I like Wayne, too. That's your turn. Wayne, you're uh. it. Come on over and meet him. <laughs> Thanks a lot, guys. Congratulations, Lauren. Hey, we're going to keep us posted on that. Go ahead and thank you for coming, man. Darren, thank you for coming. We'll be right back. <laughs> hey, you made it to the end of this video. I got a lot more that you're going to enjoy, so just click to watch the next one. And make sure you subscribe to always know what's happening.